In this video, you will learn how to transform this data into a bar chart race with Python. For this tutorial, we, we need to install Python. Please download it from python.org. We will also be using Jupyter Notebooks. To install these, we can use pip. We can just type pip install notebook. The last thing that we need to install is SJ Visualizer. SJ Visualizer is a data visualization and animation library that I've made myself and published open source. Uh, you can find it on GitHub and I appreciate it if you could start a project. You can also install it by typing pip install SJ Visualizer. Now we have everything we need to start coding. Let's create our working directory. In the description below, you will find a link to a zip file containing all the files that we will need for this exercise. One of these files is an Excel file holding our data. We are going to visualize the number of nuclear warheads in the world. This data was gathered from Wikipedia. In this Excel file, the first column contains the years and all subsequent columns contain the data for each country. Now, let's start our Jupyter Notebook and create a new file. Firstly, we are going to work with our data. For this, we will need to import the data handler class from SJ Visualizer module. We can use this data handler class to load our data from the Excel file. It only takes two arguments. The first of them is the Excel file and the second one is the number of frames. The number of frames depends on the desired duration and the frames per second of the animation. It is good practice to set any constants at the top of the file so it is easier in the future to change. Let's say we want an animation of 60 frames per second and a duration of one minute. We can now set the number of frames to FPS times duration times 60. The 60 is for 60 seconds in one minute. The program will now interpolate the data for each frame in the animation. We can view the data frame uh, by typing DF and each row that we see here is the data for each frame of the animation. The next step is to create the canvas. We first need to import it at the top of the file. The canvas will be used to add our graphs too. Oops, I need to make sure to rerun the cell in which we import it. The next step is to create the bar race. Again, we need to import the bar race from the module and we can create the bar race object. We now need to add the bar race object to our canvas by using the add subplot method. This basically tells the canvas that we want to draw our bar race. It complains about the missing image files. We will resolve this later. Now we can run it by running the play method 
on the canvas object. And there you have it, a very basic data visualization. But there are some things wrong with it. For example, it doesn't have a title, so no one will understand what it means. We can run the add title method and passing in the string to add our title. We can also add a time indicator. We can set it to year, month or day. For our data, year is fine. And there you have it, a very simple data animation. There are still some things wrong with it. For example, the colors don't make a lot of sense and we do not have the icons displaying for the different countries. Before we continue, this free tutorial is part of my data visualization course on Udemy. If you want to take a deeper dive into data animation and visualization to create these visualizations, please follow the link in the description. The first 50 people to sign up get presented with a discount. Let's get back to the tutorial. Now to add the colors to our bars, I've included a separate file containing the color information. This file is called colors.json. This file has the same structure as a dictionary, which is one of the data types that I've explained earlier. The key in this dictionary is the country name and the value is a list of three values. These values represent the RGB colors. This stands for red, green and blue. All values need to be between 0 and 255. We just need to read this file and pass the contents to our bar rates. We can use the built-in JSON library to read this file. I can read the contents from the file by opening the colors.json and loading it with the JSON module. We can print the contents uh, of the file to our screen and it matches the contents we saw when we opened Notepad++. Now we can pass our colors to our bar rays and we should be good to go. That, that looks good. All the countries now have their national colors shown. Um, if you want to do this yourself, you would need to, uh, to update the colors.json file with the data categories that, that you have. Now the last step in this basic setup is to add the flag icons. You might have noticed that in the course materials you will find a pictures folder. This folder contains the flag icons. You might also have noticed that the code has created a, an assets folder. If you simply drop the images in the assets folder, the program will automatically pick this up and display it next to the bar. When you want to do this yourself, please make sure that the name of the picture file corresponds to the name of the data category. And at the moment only PNG images are supported. And there you have it, a very basic data animation. Again, if you want to know more about data animation using Python, please find my course in the link below.